Hey friends, welcome back to Bubbly Balloon Co. My name is Rachel and you guys keep asking me for a video on how to use rubber bands in your balloon arches and balloon garlands. So today I'm going to show you. This is going to be a short and sweet one guys. The rubber band is super useful when you're adding on to a garland that's already hung, especially when you want to put something in a position that's a little bit awkward to get to, might be hard to tie it in normally, maybe balloon dots, glue dots, they're not going to have a strong enough hold and you want to just kind of fast and dirty put it on there, especially if you want to be able to take it off and reposition it, you're not sure if you're going to like it there. Rubber bands are gold in those cases. The ones I use, I got from Amazon, I can link below, it's just a big box of like heavy duty rubber bands. I want to say that the per unit price of the rubber bands is comparable to the per unit price of like a 260 or a 160. I think they're about five cents each either way you go. I really am partial to 260s but there are times I love using a big rubber band and let me show you a couple of those right now. Probably my absolute favorite way to use rubber bands in a balloon creation is to secure large balloons onto a garland. So I have a 24 inch and a 36 inch black balloon here. I'm going to go ahead and inflate them and I'll show you how easy it is to tie the rubber band in and then I'll get a garland hung up and I'll go ahead and show you how easy it is to add in large balloons with a rubber band to a garland that's already up. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and tie this off and I like to do kind of like big chunky knots on specialty balloons if possible leave a big knot there I don't want to yes I want it to be tight you know airtight and not let any air out but I'm not going for a, a thin tiny knot okay what I'm gonna do is take this rubber band kind of press it against itself almost like fold it in half okay pull up this neck of the balloon so that I can get the rubber band under the knot Okay, and then I'm gonna take one end of the rubber band and pass it through the other, just a little loop, that's all it is. And then pull tightly on it, just like that. Now I've got this huge loop I can use to attach it onto my garland with, and look how secure that is. Did y'all ever play with these as a kid? I used to love these little punching balloons. But it is so easy to go ahead and wrap this around another stable balloon or even a group of balloons, aquatic cluster, whatever, to really wrap this and hold it in place on your garland. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and we'll do the same thing with a 36 inch balloon. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on the 36. So go ahead and pull that neck up, slip this rubber band under the knot. Okay, go ahead and pull the rubber band through itself. So it ties right under the base of that knot, which keeps it really securely tied to the neck of the balloon. And there you go. I've got another giant balloon ready to go. Now rubber bands are also great for adding on clusters. Again, I mostly just use it in areas that are tricky to get to. It would be hard to wrap in a 260 or fishing line. Um, you know, if glue dots aren't gonna hold it, something like that, that's when I'll opt for a rubber band. I like to use it for convenience more than anything. So all I'm gonna do, it's so easy, you guys. Take this rubber band, wrap it around one balloon. You could do more if you want, like you could twist it and then go around a second balloon, which would just kind of protect you if, God forbid, something happened to this balloon somewhere along the way, then, you know, it would just be a little extra step of security there. Um, but just like the others, we've got this big loop we can use to go ahead and add it into our garland. So let me show you what this looks like in a setup. Okay, so behind me is a garland that needs some extra accents. So what we're gonna do is take our big 36 inch balloon here with this big old rubber band on it. I'm gonna put it down right here at the bottom, I hope you can see, and I'm going to slip this over a couple of balloons in the area to really secure this in place. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing with this 24 incher. So using this rubber band, I'm going to Secure it in place by wrapping that rubber band around a couple of other balloons to put that 24 inch balloon right where I want it in literally two seconds. It couldn't be easier, you guys. 
rubber bands are a godsend. I will say they can be hard to hide, so if you do use them, be careful to wrap it around enough other balloons that there's not like a bunch of slack showing. Um, that's one reason I love 260s. You can use them in the color of the garland and they kind of blend right in for the most part. But you can always use small balloons, reposition things, and find clever ways to, uh, you know, hide any holes or showing rubber bands or 260s or whatever you're working with. All right, here's my little cluster I'm gonna add in with rubber bands as well, using the same exact method. And this is how it looks afterwards. I will caution you that if you're adding on, it can happen with large balloons, but it's very easy to have it happen when you're adding on clusters onto your garland, not to do what I call like the wart effect, like you don't want to have your garland and then like another cluster or another large balloon. You want to really make it blend together and flow and look like they're all part of the same creation. So that's kind of a struggle I run into when I use rubber bands is sometimes it just sits on top of the garland rather than really like wrap it in and combine it. So I had to maneuver that one a lot to, to make it look more natural, more part of the creation rather than an afterthought. So just think with that when you do it. But otherwise, you guys, rubber bands are seriously one of the easiest like ways to add on to your garland and um, avoid having to break out the ladder again, something like that. Like they can be really good. I hope that gave you some more certainty on using rubber bands in your balloon creations. If you've got any other questions for me, you want to see any other content from me, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video.